degrees, so we can go ahead and calculate that. Uh, you know, essentially, um, we know there's no different. No different. We use the same process. We identify our subsystems, two degrees of freedom analysis, and, and solve for uh, solving the unknowns. So it's, it's no different. And we can relate that to the, the uh, extent of reaction. It's just the stoichiometric coefficient times psi over the initial amount. Okay, go ahead. Your first question's up and uh, work it again. Remember to do it by yourself first and then uh, we'll have time for discussion uh, in a minute. I'm just going to give you a minute here to answer and, and write a quick explanation. If it was the same as before, just write same as before. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> Okay, so we s seem to have honed in on, on one answer here, okay? And uh, it is the correct answer, so uh, that's great. Okay, so what uh, the principle here again is that w as we. composition of all of them, they're going to be the same. So you don't have to worry about that. So now you know that the percents are going to be like the thing you're looking at. So you can make one. Because once you find one, yeah, you can put it into the other. 